Today we have here an HP laptop, which has an issue with the BIOS. I will show you where we can find the BIOS file in bin format and how the process is generally done. So in this specific case, we press the power button to turn on the laptop, the light comes on, and nothing else happens. It only does this, the light comes on and then goes off. When there is a problem with the BIOS in general, the laptop may behave differently. It may only work with mysteries, the screen may turn on, various issues. Usually, the processor does not start at all. Because the BIOS is the first stage that is recognized when we press the power button on the computer, if it doesn't work like the BIOS, the processor won't start at all. Many times it appears as a problem with the power supply, processors, or memory, but ultimately it is the BIOS. So I'll show you here where the BIOS is located. It is this integrated one here. It's basically a memory. Thus, it has the program to start the BIOS. And in many laptops, this program crashes inside and cannot start. So in this case, what do we do? We need to remove it, detach the memory from the top, put it in the programmer, and reanalyze it. Sometimes, like this particular one I have seen, the memory also has an issue. It might be burnt. I will show you in the programmer what issue I found, and it replaces the memory in this specific one. Well, let's first see where we can find the program. Well, let's go to the HP support page. So, we write down the model of the laptop we have, do a search, and find all the files available in the support. We go to the BIOS file found in the software and driver programs. Here we need to specify which operating system it runs on and how many bits it is. So we select, click Submit, and see here in the first BIOS section, software over there, and download it. This file is, so we download it, run it, and when we reach this screen, we press Next and Copy. The last option over here, like this, we press Next again, choose where we want the files to go, Next, and we are ready. Let's go to the destination folder. I had set it to download on the desktop. It will write the two files. One of the two files says it's the bin file. It's this one over here. This file is now what we will put in the programmer and flash it to the memory. So we go to the programmer's program and press to automatically recognize the memory with its ID. And here we will see that it will give us an error, that it did not recognize the integrated circuit. It did not recognize it with its ID. Sometimes this may have happened and the chip will have to be manually inserted according to its capacity. We put it in here manually and we will press to perform an erase and a verify to see if the integrated circuit is functioning correctly. This is a warning sign that there is an issue with the integrated circuit, that it did not recognize it immediately. But sometimes this can also happen if the specific integrated circuit is not programmed into the memory of the programmer. So we perform an erase on it, and during the verify, it will show if the integrated circuit is functioning correctly. Well, it did the erase. We see that it produced an error. It says erase zero here, another warning bell. And if we try to do a read, we will see that there are remnants left in the memory. You see here at this point, it cannot erase these here. So indeed, there is a problem with the integrated circuit. It can't even erase it. Great. So in this case, we replace the integrated circuit, we insert another one into the programmer, and we repeat the same process. So now press to recognize it. It recognizes it immediately. You see here, it directly identifies the file, which chip it is after all. And now we proceed to perform an erase on this one to see what result it will give us. And here we see that everything went well. Good. So we open it to find the file where we have placed it in the destination in the operation where we have placed it. So we select it and we will now perform a program. And we are ready. That was it. So summarizing, 
If a laptop doesn't start the processor, or the fans are not working, or it's doing crazy things, many times it's not a hardware problem, but a software one, so it's in the BIOS. It's the first stage that will be recognized as soon as we press the power button. If it doesn't pass through the BIOS, the computer does nothing. So in this case, the BIOS needs to be removed from the computer, put into a programmer, and it should be finished. And we saw here that there was a problem with the memory, so of the BIOS. So the programmer showed us that we changed the memory and everything is fine. Well, we see here that it has already been written. It has been written until the program has been installed. It's probably the file that is passing through now anyway. Everything is fine. So that was the video for today. If you liked it, give it a like, share it so that more people can see it. And I am waiting for your comments. And let me remind you once again that I do not take on repairs. That's it. Do not ask me to send devices for repair. The videos are made for educational purposes. And my reward is the sharing you do and the positive comments you give me. So have fun until the next video. Hello, everyone.